For the first time in more than a decade, parents in Scotland are to be surveyed on what their children are eating. 17,000 families across the country will be selected at random in the coming days. The findings will be used to influence future policies to improve children's health. Kirsten Tate has more. Like many children, LJ's snack of choice is often something sweet. But to find out exactly what young people in Scotland are eating, a survey is being sent out to thousands of parents. It's something LJ's mother Lucy thinks may help her choose snacks for her children. I had an idea at all. It's really great because obviously you don't really know what other families feel, feed their kids. And I personally don't think I'm the great and the best. I keep in the house, so it'd be good to see what everyone else is doing. The letters will be sent out to 17,000 families with children aged between 2 and 15 and will ask households to complete food diaries over a month. We can't help people to eat a more healthy diet unless we know what they're eating in the first place. And so we need to know the foods that children and young people are eating too much of, so foods that are high in salt, sugar and saturated fat, and the things that they're not eating enough of, like fruit and vegetables, fibre, those sorts of things. What's been the influence of eating out of home, delivery apps, uh, energy, energy drinks, so uh, our data will be able to answer those questions because it's a really comprehensive assessment of diet. A survey of this kind hasn't been done in more than a decade and researchers believe the cost of living and the pandemic may have had an impact on eating habits. Overweight and obesity in children is rising. It continues to rise. In fact, it's at record levels of about a third of children who are at risk of overweight or obesity. If children put on extra weight as a child, they're far less likely to lose it as an adult and then they could be at direct risk of a range of diseases like obesity-related cancers. Invitations will be sent out to households selected at random in the coming days. Kirsten Tate, STV News.